Well, good evening everyone. I'm meteorologist Carl Lamb with a look at your extended forecast. It, it sure felt nice across western New York today. If you were sick of the heat and humidity that we had for part of the weekend and then as we headed into yesterday, today certainly felt a lot different. Even this morning, I think some folks were saying it's a little cool. It feels a little too early for fall. It definitely had that vibe as we uh, had that rain move through this morning, but it's now very comfortable now that the cold front moved through. It is starting to clear out the sky. This is going to set up for a beautiful and comfortable Wednesday across western New York, and we're talking about temperatures even by Wednesday morning in the 50s in the upper 50s for the southern tier. So from areas like Jamestown and Frewsburg, uh, Frewsburg, Bemis Point over towards uh, Randolph, Gowanda and Olean. Uh, very nice start to the day we will warm up. It's comfortable throughout the day. We're not expecting any big surges of heat. We're expecting temperatures to get to about 80 degrees in many parts of western New York. I'd say areas, let's say north of 20 a you're going to get in to the upper 70s near 80 degrees. I'd say the south towns out at the fair. You're going to be hanging on to the upper 70s and then the mid 70s, shall we say, for the southern tier and northern Pennsylvania. It could be a little cooler as you head down the 219 towards Bradford, but ultimately it's a nice day. It's a little breezy, though. We'll show you the winds uh, in this extended forecast as well. And I would say if you enjoy going to the fair, uh, during the evenings, you may need a light jacket, especially since temperatures will cool down as we get towards, let's say, the upper 60s uh, by the evening. So a nice evening, but, uh, you know, I would say you can give the air conditioners a bit of a break. It will be a little warm, but, you know, it's that type of feeling where it starts off warm and then you're a little cold during the overnight when you wake up, then you grab the flat sheet. Yeah, it's that type of situation over the next day and a half or so. But then once we get to Thursday, we do bring in the chance for some rain. Notice the temperatures are cooler. They're not going to warm up all that much. We're already at 930. Watch as temperatures don't get that much warmer as we go towards the afternoon. Probably the mid 70s at its max. I do suspect that even this is a little overdone for Thursday. So just expect it to be cool, but a little bit humid. So it's kind of like that weird middle zone where it's not too hot but it's humid, so it feels warmer. It's just that weird tier where things are just a little bit sticky across western New York. We'll start to uh, have those overnight lows get back towards that 60 degree mark, the low 60s as well. It's a little muggy as we head into Thursday night. So here's future look showing us the clouds are going to be moving out of western New York as we head towards Wednesday. Wall to wall sunshine really from Medina and Lindenville over towards Barker and Alcott all the way down towards Ellicottville, Bradford, Hamburg, Kenmore, Java, Dunkirk, anywhere in between. You're going to be really enjoying that. Now this is really, really aggressive here. I would say there could be a stray shower just squeaked out of this, but I would not suggest that this is going to be a washout by any means. This uh, model actually was the best of the worst situation. Really, it was uh, the other one was giving a pretty heavy hand for the rain as we go through Wednesday, but I would say don't worry about it. It is going to be a OK, except for a possible shower or so, but that's really about it. Now, as we head towards Wednesday evening, clouds are starting to build and then here comes the rain. It is going to be with us as we head towards Thursday morning into Thursday in the afternoon before it starts to back off a little bit, but we could get into some rain showers, some thunderstorms, and then another line at one two punch here on Thursday that could bring uh, a decent shot of rain, even some thunderstorms too, some lightning, some gusty winds and notice behind it. There is that cold front. When you see those northwesterly winds pumping in, here's the front and behind it. There's the cooler air. Uh, a little detective work that I'm teaching you there, so you can certainly uh, spot that as we go into the next little while. But uh, we are keeping our eye on uh, potentially some more rain that's going to kind of work its way through. But uh, the gusts, you know, you'll notice them as we head into to, uh, on Wednesday. They may be up to about 20 miles per hour during the day, but uh, I would not say it's anything too, too impactful. I would say that if you're at the fair and you have napkins, they're probably going to be blowing around uh, or a very light paper plate. Just a little planning there, but all in all, not too bad uh, in terms of those winds. I would say that Thursday is going to be well, a bit of a different story as we'll have some gusts at times getting close to that 20 mile per hour mark once again. But once the cold front moves through, yes, it will still be breezy, but it brings in some more comfortable air. So again, 78 what we have on tap for 
uh, Wednesday at the fair. Beautiful conditions. Don't forget it's Channel 2 Day. Bring four canned goods or non-perishable food items or more because it all benefits Feed More Western New York and you get in for free. It's the best value in town. Uh, just a beautiful day on, ha on hand. And then as we look ahead to uh, Saturday, for the first preseason game out at Highmark Stadium, uh, we do have uh, winds that will be a factor. There will be some rain as well, so we're keeping an eye on that. Temperatures right in the mid 70s, so a little bit of uh, kind of fancy footwork that we have to kind of do to kind of see when that rain is going to be here. Again, some models say it's a little earlier, some say it's a little later, so we will certainly let you know. So in terms of what to expect for Wednesday, I'd say temperatures get up into the low 80s for the Buffalo and Niagara and Orleans zones. And as we head towards Thursday, notice it's cooler. Again, I would say the low to mid 70s is pretty much it. Friday looks beautiful. Saturday is when we're dealing with the potential for some rain. And as we look ahead to next Monday and Tuesday, we do deal with some showers late Monday into early Tuesday. So that's kind of the early look there. So a bit unsettled as we head towards uh, the South Towns and the Southern Tier again. Comfortable for Wednesday, rain for Thursday, comfortable for Friday. And then again, it's a toss up for Saturdays. We're dealing with some of those showers and a few isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out dry for Sunday. And then we're back into some showers for Monday and Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in.